slate wagons full of scrap and some bushes. One of them had a brake on it. He thought, well, perhaps this is where the slate train starts. Dragged it in the works, lifted it off its bearings, and four months later, we'd badly thrown some paint at about 12 wagons, and we had a train. We carried on restoring more wagons. We ran a 60 wagon train, which was fantastic. But it was obvious that the wagons, even the restored ones, were deteriorating. So we needed a storage facility and so built a very large shed to take all 200 wagons. Uh, now we've got the original blacksmith shop as a heritage workshop. Uh, we've been able to make some really good progress. From here, the long-term aspiration is to restore 100 wagons um, and with a shed and a workshop, that, that really feels possible. It doesn't matter if I'm going to be 145 when they've finished restoring everything in here. It doesn't really matter, does it? Because what sort of matters is that somebody who probably hasn't been born yet will be thinking, oh, right, we've only got another 20 to go and, uh, and then we'll be done and then they'll all be done. And that'll be good, won't it? <laughs>